So I'm going to do a video on Trump's Supreme Court picks as well as his general federal judge picks uh, at the district court level and the circuit level um, in one or two videos. Um, but I want to show this clip of uh, Justice Scalia and uh, him talking about his replacement and how he would want Judge Easterbrook of the Seventh Circuit to replace him. When I earlier read that line about uh, every lawyer, every citizen concerned about uh, how the judiciary can rise above politics, those are actually the words of Frank Easterbrook. And the reason I bring that up is that uh, if you look at Frank Easterbrook's brother is Greg Easterbrook, who we see right. dealing with ecology. Why is he your forward writer, and how long have you known him? Oh, I've known Frank a, a long time. Uh, we were colleagues on the faculty at the University of Chicago in the in the what, in the eighties. Uh, he went on to be a judge on the Seventh Circuit, uh, chief judge uh, of the Seventh Circuit, ultimately. And uh, he he wrote the forward because if if there is is one other name, one other judicial name associated with the the, the two principal. Uh, theories of this book, textualism and originalism, it is Frank Easterbrook. He is. And, you know, and if, if, if I had to pick somebody to replace me on the Supreme Court, it would be Frank. He and I tend to see, uh, see things uh, the same because we're both applying the same principles of textualism and originalism. So with that said, I think it would be excellent to fill Justice Scalia's spot with Judge Frank Easterbrook. I think it would be an excellent choice. They are both very, very similar in their thought. Um, different in expressing themselves sometimes when you listen to oral arguments. Um, but they both worked in the uh, Office of Legal Counsel. In the Reagan era, they both have a legalistic approach to judicial interpretation, um, and they both sort of have clear writing. Easterbrook probably has a little bit more economic analysis of law. Uh, that's kind of what he's noted for, but um, he's certainly up there with Scalia in terms of textualism and interpreting the Constitution and whatnot. And I think he, he's one of my favorite circuit judges to listen to. So I really think Frank Easterbrook should be up there on number one if possible. If we only have one seat, it may not be possible, but if we have two seats to fill, potentially, if we know we're going to have two seats to fill, if Ginsburg drops dead or she moves like she said she would, <laughs> then we would have two seats to fill, and one of them should very likely go to Easterbrook. Of course, again, age is an issue, and I think choosing a justice that is younger is probably going to be very important um, because Trump could easily uh, only be a one-term president. Uh, and we don't know if we'd get a conservative in for a term after that. I'm really hoping something along the lines of Nikki Haley for uh, 2020, maybe 2024. But uh, that's a different topic. But also, besides the Supreme Court, at the district court level and the circuit level, um, you can put in young judges as well. Um, I think people forget the influence that a uh, district court judge or a circuit court judge has. Uh, remember, 99% of uh, appeals die in the U.S. Court of Appeals. So that's something to keep in mind as well.